Well, after about an hour of lunch, getting back into the woods this morning, you know, we saw several bucks. And most of the time they showed up 15, 20 minutes after rattling. One of those bucks that crossed the field chasing a doe was a buck I've been seeing over and over for the last couple of years. Never in range with a bow. And it wasn't in range today with a rifle, but he's working our area and he's chasing does. So I'm gonna get back in the stand and hopefully we get a chance and that deer comes back because I sure would like to get an opportunity to take that deer and see what happens. Now that is a fresh scrape. This is about 80 yards from my stand. Almost looks like that buck has taken a garden break and just pulled all that grass and piled it up. And you can literally smell the buck in this area. It's been hitting this pretty regularly. So the spot where I'm at is the same spot I muzzle over hunted and the same spot I was at this morning. Now I have bow hunted here a few other times and on two different occasions. I've seen a pretty good buck right on this wood line. Both times it was later in the evening. So we got a wind that's blowing straight this way. Right the way I walked in, not getting near that little patch of woods that buck's hanging out. I know he's using this area because I can smell him in here and there's some scrapes in this area as well. So. Hopefully we can get him to come and investigate this little field because if he gets in this field, it should be an easy shot with our hard rifles. This property, even though it's farmed by the same farmer, it's actually two different landowners. There are some hunters over on the right hand side and they've got permission to be over there. And this is just, you know, I deal with the same exact thing that everyone else deals with when it comes to gun hunting. You gotta share the woods. You gotta be respectful of other hunters. So we have a couple other people that are out here hunting as well on the right legally. Hopefully we can get him in here. We've had him here twice. Both times I had a bow in my hand. Couldn't make it happen. Well, it's about 3.30 been here for a little while no action just yet you know it's getting dark really dark by six so i'm gonna start doing some light calling and hopefully if we have a deer that is in this patch of woods right here we can make him make a move this direction Hold on, he's rubbing. 
He's actually a pretty nice nine pointer. I've been sitting here all day watching that rub this morning and now. Pretty cool to see a buck come and actually rub on it. I'm going to get a little better look. I've got weeds and stuff between me and the vitals. I think this could be the same buck that made the scrape we saw on the way in. Here comes another deer. It is. I'm going to wait and see what happens, but I'm not going to let that deer get to where I'm not shooting into the woods. This looks like a pretty mature buck. Look how much bigger the body is than the other deer we've seen. I think we're still going to see that buck again. He's chasing that small buck. Here they come. Get ready. He's coming. He's coming back right here. He's coming right back. Here comes the doe with the corner of the field. She's about to pop out. He's coming. Here he comes. shots but that's only about 60 yards so I felt really confident with taking that shot but he's down he's right there I'm pretty fired up about it really cool this time of year getting out here you know as, as normally as a bow hunter I don't get in the woods too much during gun season to see the deer really in full rut you know rounding those does up keeping an eye on them making his making his rub soil away from the bottom of that tree. I mean, he was going through all the phases of rut. That's really cool to get to see all that. I've had a great season. I've got a freezer full of venison. I was able to take deer with my bow, deer with my muzzle loader, and now a deer with a rifle. I can't ask for much more. It's all about opportunities and I've had some chances. And I'm really happy with how this season has turned out. Get ready, get ready, here's a doe. She's about to pop out. I've got one tag left. The one on the right. You want it? Yeah. I'm sitting here in my stand and I had one tag left. I know I'm gonna be processing deer because I've got a buck down. I figured, you know what? I can wrap it all up and end it up right here today and make it such a, a perfect season. Filled all my tags, burned my buck tag. Couldn't work out any better. We said when we, we parked out here, we came in, there's another truck. And we know there's a hunter because we, we know this truck and we know there are hunters that have permission to hunt here. And they're hunting somewhere right over there. Both of these deer went straight down. I'm gonna be a courteous, courteous neighbor hunter here. And we're just gonna wait these out and see what pops out and not mess up their hunt. There's that other buck. That's a different buck though, because my buck, 
Fire's pipe right over here. I saw this bus this morning. People think when they shoot a deer, they run their chances for the rest of the night for a buck to show up. We've seen way more deer after two shots have been taken than before. That deer was shot right here, and I think he circled right here somewhere. Don't really need to do any blood trail, and we know it's right here. Yep, right here he is. Wow, he is in that briar bush. Look at that neck, look at that. We'll try to drag him out here and see what we got. He is buried in here. Well, you know what? This is the perfect, perfect close to this deer season. You know, this is just a really nice, mature buck. I'm super happy with it. I think back about how this season progressed, literally, Five or six hundred yards on the other side of this cornfield is where I started bow hunting this year. Had some really cool encounters. Saw a couple of decent bucks down there, but I kept seeing the deer up on this end. Right before muzzleloader season, moved up here and realized that these deer are just loading in this little valley I'm in right now. Came up here, was able to take a couple does with my muzzleloader. Saw a buck or two, nothing I really wanted. Got into the firearm season, which, you know, a lot of times I don't have a buck tag come firearm season. Still had a buck tag and thought, you know what? It's getting too late in the year to pass up a mature buck like this. So to be able to take this and to fill my last tag with that doe, just caps it off. It was just a perfect, perfect year. So I couldn't be happier. It's the reason you deer hunt. You want the meat, but you want the experiences. And even if I wouldn't have got a buck this year, I would have still had a great year. It's about the time in the deer stand, the enjoying all the things you see and just being a part of wildlife and mother nature. Just a beautiful, beautiful year and what a nice buck to finish it up with.